Uh, hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I'm going to talk about the, the DJI Ronin. It's a three-axis digital camera stabilizer. Uh, I got this whole package from BH Photo. Uh, the, they're selling it right now, actually it's, it's on sale, I believe, to, for uh, $2,699. Uh, includes free shipping. Uh, so check them out. Um, and, you know, I, I had a chance to use this actually on a, on a previous job that I did in LA on, on a music video I did with Daystorm. And, you know, so, so far, you know, I've, I've, had a, I've had a pretty good experience with it. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, then again, I can't say that about any, I guess, uh, three-axis di di digital, you know, this stabilizer, for, especially for like these larger cameras. Um, so it's, you know, it has its little sort of quirks here and there. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, but it's, I, I think it's one of the better gimbals out there right now, or cameras, stabilizers. Uh, anyways, the whole package comes actually, you know, with pretty much everything that you need. It actually includes the stand, uh, which is really cool. The stand kind of folds away and fits in the case. Uh, it comes with a big, you know, sort of a Pelican-like uh, case, so it's really good for, for uh, traveling. Like I said, when I shot a music video with it in LA, I packed it all up, you know, and just checked in the luggage. It arrived, no problems. Uh, everything was, uh, you know, it's like nicely, nice and, and secure in there. Um, and yeah, it comes with all the extra tools. It even comes with the, the Dove, you know, base plate uh, with rails. It actually comes with extra rails. You can attach mud bucks, follow focus, all that stuff that, that you would want to use on your sort of a standard camera rig. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's overall, it's, it's a pretty good package. Uh, this one, you know, the DJI Ronin, is I would say it's the sort of a second sort of a you know a, a three-axis digital stabilizer on the market that's been sort of produced by a I would say it's sort of a you know a, a major or sort of a established company. So DJI, in case you're, you're not familiar with, uh, they're, the, they're they're the guys who did the DJI Phantom and, and a few other you know uh, remote-controlled you know uh, you know UAVs. Uh, and their main thing actually is, you know, sort of uh, creating these UAVs that where you can mount a camera on it and you can o operate it remotely. So even though this came in, you know, into the market after the, the, the Movi, DJI actually has more experience in the three-axis camera gimbal uh, sort of technology because they were the, the, you know, the first ones really out there creating really good, reliable three-axis, you know, uh, stabilizers for, for the consumer market and, and that were meant for their, for their flying platforms. Um, so they, they've already had, you know, multiple, you know, like these DJI Zenmuse uh, three-axis gimbals that were just basically much smaller, lighter, and that were meant to be operated purely, you know, through a remote control. Uh, and then this is the first, you know, you, you could say the product that, that is actually meant to be handheld and, and, and used that way. Now, you could mount this. Overall, though, the weight of it is, uh, it's, it's so heavy, I, I don't think you'd be actually mounting it on, on a quadcopter. But you can mount it to other certain platforms or cable, let's say, or, or like, uh, like, a, like a crane or something. And you can uh, operate it remotely because it actually comes with... Um, with this cool, you know, uh, DJI uh, remote control. So it's, you know, it's automatically, it's connected to it. So it allows you basically to two person operation, you could say. So one so one person to kind of carry the, the gimbal while another person sort of sits and looks at the monitor and, and uh, operates the, 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 the gimbal that way. Um, my experience with it so far, uh, like I said, I, I've used it only on one job um, and, I, and I had spent maybe like three days before testing it and setting it up. It's, you know, when it works, it's great. It really produces nice, smooth shots and all that stuff. My only, I would say, negative thing I would say about it, or the major negative thing, is that the support, I, I, and I find this sort of with all the gimbals out there, it's still not all the way there. Like, it comes with instructions, but instructions are kind of talk about certain things that are, you know, and, and not others. Uh, it, it, for example, uh, to, to sort of properly set up the, uh, this gimbal, uh, you, need a, you need to really connect it to a, a, an iPhone. Now you can also, that, that's another sort of weird thing about it is that they don't support Android, but yet, you know, they only support, you know, uh, iPhones, but then at the same time, if you, uh, when it comes to the computer side, they don't, they don't support Macintosh, they, you can only connect it to, uh, to a Windows machine. So it's very weird in that sense. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking or hoping that they're going to release uh, support, you know, and, and their apps for, for Android and, and then, you know, also for, for Mac computers. Um, yeah, that's for sure something you know uh, that I know a lot of people out there are requesting, uh, and the, and that, that actually is what ca sort of caused me some problems. Uh, like I said, I set up this 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 gimbal and it worked right away, right out of the box. It's pretty easy to to balance, so that's one really great thing about it. I would say compared to all the gimbals that, that are out there that I've tried, including the Movi, 
Uh, it's just the, the easiest and fastest to set up simply because it, you do not require, it does not require tools, basically. You just have these knobs here and you loosen them and it allows you to move it up and down, left and right, and on all of the axes, the same thing up here for the yaw axis. So it's really cool in that sense that it, it you know, like I said, without tools, you, you, can, you can balance the camera. Now you do have to balance it, that's just a given with, uh, with all three axis gimbals. But this one is, uh, I guess you don't have to balance it as well. I mean, the, the better, you, the more you balance it, the, 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 the better it's going to be because it's gonna, the motors will, won't have to work as hard. And that means your battery will last longer. And right now, I believe the battery, if it, the gimbal is properly you know, like set up, it will last around four hours. Um, but even if you don't get it perfectly, you know, uh, balanced in there, then it's it's no problem because it's the, well, you know, to a point, it's no problem because the the software will actually sort of uh, com compensate for it. So we'll figure out where the camera is a little bit heavier and, and lighter, and it will compensate for it, and it will still keep the uh, the, the whole gimbal steady for you. So here I, I got the, the Canon 7D on it. I'll just sort of quickly show you. It comes with these batteries. Again, another great thing about these batteries is that. Uh, they last a long time, but also they're smart batteries. So when you press up here, it will actually show you basically how much juice you have left in the battery. Uh, they, you know, they come with a very easy charger to plug into it. And the same thing up here, if you just want to mount it into the back of the gimbal, you just sort of slide it in and tighten these knobs. Make sure that it doesn't fall out and that's it. Uh, let, let me maybe start it up right now just to sort of show you how, how easy it is to, you know, to get the gimbal going. So press the battery or hold it for a few seconds and then let go. And now the gimbal is working. So as you can see, you know, it's, it, it seems to be doing its job. Like, uh, like I said, the camera wasn't perfectly balanced, but uh, already you can see uh, I'm holding it up here. It's nice and smooth, but now one thing is, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the, the motors create a little bit of a noise. Now, I don't know if you guys can pick it up here on the microphone. It's not horrible, but they do create a little bit of a noise, which is very weird because, you know, having used so many other you know, three axis gimbals, I've never encountered that problem. So I'm guessing it maybe it's just something faulty with this unit. Now, now if any of you out there, you know, who had a chance to, to use the, the, the DJI Ronin, if you come across the same thing, let me know, because I, I'm just kind of curious to see whether all of those gimbals from DJI Ronin are, you know, whether, whether they have this kind of a slight problem, because it could be a problem sometimes, you know, it's a, it's a tiny noise, but I guess if you wanted to do really quiet, like sort of a dialogue or something, you know, intimate scene and have the camera moving very close to the actors, then this would have created a, a bit of a problem. So uh, again, I'm hoping it's just a problem with this unit. Uh, but as you can see, otherwise, you know, I mean, you know it works. Um, it has the follow mode automatically in it. It comes, you know, with the remote, so you can also very easily now, you know, just uh, operate the camera. Here, let me just start it up first. <laughs> uh, it turn on the remote and now I should be able to control it. Yeah, so. I can make the camera go up and down, all that stuff. So like I said, it's pretty cool and you can, it, it will even work, like I said, with like a mixed mode. You can switch here from follow mode to purely second, you know, sort of a remote controlled uh, mode or a mixed mode by switching the switches here. So you, you can have somebody sort of controlling it while another person sort of helping guiding it. So you can, you can do a mixed mode. So it's pretty cool. Um, the camera also allows you to, I mean, the, the, the gimbal allows you to to operate the you know the gimbal in two other modes. One is the the over under, so you can actually have the camera you know at your at your eye level, and it's very simple. You just sort of flip the camera, uh, the gimbal forward and upside down, or the briefcase mode, which just means you grab the handles and flip it left and right like 90 degrees, and then you can, it allows you to get these sort of a low sort of a tracking shots while holding it like a briefcase. Um, so it's pretty cool in that sense, and like I said, when it works, it works great. Uh, now the problems that I've encountered are, uh, well, the first thing is when I got it out of the box, the settings, again, I'm not sure whether it's just with this unit, but the settings were horrible on it. I mean, it kept the camera stable, but it, in the follow mode, I pretty much could not follow it. Like I would, you know, turn with my hands and the camera would take forever to follow. And then the same thing with the, uh, you know, in, in all the other directions. And so it pretty much was useless in follow mode. So I had to I, I was forced to basically plug this into a computer because I don't have an iPhone. I know I'm one of the Android guys. Uh, and, uh, and so I had to plug it into a computer and I got to tell you in the instructions, it kind of explains a little bit when it comes to the, the iPhone app for, for, the, for the Ronin. So it's kind of cool in that sense. But when it comes to the Windows app, there's almost no explanation. So I, it really took me a long time, about like three, four hours to really kind of get the settings more or less to the point that I that I guess I was happy with. I'm still not, I would say, 100% happy with the follow mode. It seems to 
sometimes follow fast and sometimes like you do it and it kind of just slows down so it's i'm still not all the way there and then that's one thing that i wish the dji did more is just have either a really good software that just you know it's easy to set up or really good instructions for the software so i could figure it out now when i did borrow a friend's you know iphone i managed to change some of the settings a lot quicker but the problem is like like i said if you don't have an iphone and you're out there on location and that's sort of what happened to me is like i set this up uh, you know, in, in my house, get a, got a, get, the, get the gimbal like nicely balanced to working with the GH4. And then I went, you know, and I was shooting this video with Daystorm and it worked great for maybe the first like half hour. And then after that, it started basically having these weird shakes. Now, usually that's because it's, uh, it, need, it, need, it needs to be recalibrated or the, the sensors, you know, sometimes like when you're traveling, especially from one location to another, you have to recalibrate the, 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 the gyroscopes in it. Now again, I cannot do it because I was in the middle of the location, it does not support Android, there's no other button or nothing that allows you to just recalibrate it on location. So pretty much the only way I could do it is if I dragged my laptop around with me, which I just didn't have with me, or if I had an iPhone, and which again, I just didn't have an iPhone with me. So unfortunately after like, I, I think I only got like maybe three shots for the video, and those are the shots you can see up here, just walking in the park. And like I said, I got a few of these shots and a few of these shots of these girls playing soccer. And, you know, it worked great. But then when I started shaking, when I was like, we went into this indoor location, as you can see up here with these dancers, it just started shaking like crazy. And, and at that point, you know, just I couldn't fix it. I, I, I couldn't get the, the gimbal sort of recalibrated again. So, so unfortunately, I had to put the, the DJI Ronin aside. And for the rest of the shoot, I actually just relied on my Steadicam. Uh, you know, on my li little hand handheld stabilizer. So that's sort of the thing I would say that's, you know, that I wish that they, they, they did uh, better support. You know, if you're going to do an, if you're going to do it that you need to need to use a phone app, do it at least so it supports the two major phones, which are Android and, and, and iPhones. Same thing for the computers. Um, and um, yeah, and so, you know, because like I said, when you get into situations like I did, it, it can create some some problems. Uh, but otherwise, when it does work, like I said, it works really great. Uh, here, I'm going to show you guys a few shots that I got just outside on the street, sort of walking around, following some people. Um, and as you can see, you, you, can, you can get really, really smooth shots walking. Um, the same thing if you, you know, if you want to run full speed or, or as fast as, as you're going to be running with it. Now, I would say the last complaint, uh, not a, so much a bad thing, is just is that it's it is pretty heavy that's one thing that i was not expecting uh, not just the gimbal itself but the whole package the case it's very heavy actually it is just uh, i think it, all the whole package with the case and all the extra ac accessories comes in just under 50 pounds now the gimbal itself i don't know how heavy it is but when you put a camera on it like even like a dslr it is very tiring so you, you do not want to be walking around with it and uh, for too long so i i'm using my, my atlas camera support uh, you know, like they kind of, you know, you, you, you put these rods over your head and you kind of attach it to that because without it, literally, I mean, uh, two, three minutes and your, your shoulders are, are really hurting. So that's one negative thing about it. Uh, some of the other gimbals out there that I've tested out, the good thing is that they're much smaller and lighter. Now, I understand probably, you know, why this has to be so big and heavy. It's because it's one of the few gimbals that really allows you to use uh, you know, uh, small cameras like, you know, all the way to like, you know, GH4, Sony NEX cameras, all the way up to, you know, like a fully rigged out, um, like a Red Epic even. even. Now, if, you know, if you're planning to use this gimbal only with like these smaller sort of, these new breed of smaller DSLR cameras or DSLMs, then I, I would say this is probably not the gimbal for you. N now, if, you know, if you're going to be, let's say maybe in the future, planning to use it, uh, you know, with like a bigger camera like the Red Epic or the Blackmagic cameras, then then I think this is the only one right now on the market that's that's really worth looking into because the the Movi, it's good, does the job, but it's it is a hassle. Like I said, adjusting and balancing it, and it and the price it just does not even compare to this. So when it comes to the price point, this is the best one when it comes to big cameras. But if you're only going to be using this with small cameras, I think you might be better off looking at some other smaller, uh, you know, the, the three-axis gimbals. So. Uh, that's sort of, you know, I would say my, my good and the bad things. But yeah, overall, like I said, a great gimbal, uh, you know, waiting for more support, you know, like I said, from DJI for, for Android and also for, for the Mac computers. Uh, and then, you know, and also may, maybe, you know, maybe they're going to release a DJI Ronin 2, you know, ho hopefully with some slight improvements or maybe maybe another DJI Ronin that's just like meant for smaller cameras just to take off some of the weight. I think that would be really good. 
but I mean, you know, otherwise, you know, if the weight doesn't bother you, I would say a great gimbal. Uh, it's like I said, it's so easy to adjust and it's the, from all the gimbals that I've tried out there, it's the easiest one when it comes to balancing it because like I said, everything just has these knobs, everything's nicely marked so you can remember your settings. Um, you know, you can even adjust the position here of the center of the handles. You can take them off, put them upside down very easily just by, you know, loosening these, these things. So it's, it's really cool in that sense. Uh, it also comes with all these accessories for attaching monitors, uh, follow focus, things like that, 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 you know, if you wanted to attach it here to the top handle. So really a complete, complete rig, you know, even, even includes the stand and, and the case. Anyways, I hope you guys, you know, you like this uh, quick sort of look at the DJI Ronin. Uh, if you want to get this gimbal, uh, I suggest you go check out the, you know, BH Photo website. Links are provided in the description of this video or just go to my website at tomatosfilms.com. Thank you guys and see you next time.